Uh, hey guys, uh, Dan here, and um, just a kind of a quick one um, today. Let me get back to this. So, um, the Fed announced uh, their decision, you know, 75 uh, basis point hike, which was not unexpected at all. Um, they announced it here at two o'clock, and um, the market kind of gyrated around a little bit. Initially, went up a little bit, and then it came down. You can see it here. I don't need to give you a play-by-play. -play. Um, and so this is uh, 2 o'clock. And then finally, here at 2.45, an hour, uh, half an hour, excuse me, 45 minutes later, uh, this thing finally closed up here. So during that time between 2.30 and 2.45, uh, the market started to rally. And it caught some kind of direction, you know, prior to that, you know, as with the basically the whole day, really, we were just getting this. You're getting the same thing uh, with the cues. Um, you know, you you name it, I'll I'll show you the vaunted Dow Jones Industrial Average. But I really just want to look at the cues here. Um, so we get this sideways move, um, and then come two o'clock, the Fed does what it does, the market does what it does, which isn't much, and then finally, uh, we get a move up. So this was really uh, on a very short-term basis, you know, for day trading. This was really um, the time that you could buy it. And you could cut, this is a 15-minute chart, you know, we can cut it down to a minute and get an earlier buy point. But what I wanted to show you is this, the volume-weighted average price. That's this um, orange line. <clears throat> um, that's the price at, that's the average price that a stock trades at according to volume. So it's weighted by volume, not by price. Different than a moving average. But for most of the day, and this just reflects tap very light volume, everybody agrees that this is the price, so it's not moving much. And then the initial reaction down here <clears throat> was below the volume weighted average price. But then what happens? Pew, this, the market, uh, the stock gets sucked right up to the volume weighted average price and then it blows through it. And then from that point on, it stayed above there. Now we get the same thing with the SPY. It blew through there and then stayed above there. So it was only at this point when it became clear that the buyers were outweighing the sellers, that they were more aggressive than the sellers were because this is staying above the volume weighted average price. And it's more remarkable that it was right into the close because during the day, you know, people are doing what they're doing. Okay, fine. But as we get into the close, they're kind of finishing up what they're doing and they're looking to what tomorrow is going to bring. And so generally speaking, you got to look at this market towards the end of the day being skewed to the buyers. Now, let me get to a clearer chart. But here's the issue. That's day trading stuff. Here, you know, this is a very, very solid ceiling right here. 390 here on the SPY. And so that gives us, what, 10 points? Um, two and a half percent before we get a hard a hard ceiling. So as I look at this, I think the entire day is kind of a wash. What it didn't do was give the bulls more credibility for moving higher because this was actually a pretty crappy close. It was essentially right in the middle, right in the middle of the intraday trading range. And so this was not decisive one way or another. All it showed on that intraday look was that into the close, um, there was more buying. But here's the question. Is it maybe short covering? Because we've got options expiration the day after tomorrow. There's a boatload of puts outstanding. And so we could very well see more of a rally tomorrow and into Friday. Tomorrow would probably be the day that uh, they start closing out those puts. And so what I'm telling you is this. You, you can only read so much into the intraday trading activity. But then when you go out a uh, longer term, in this case, just on a daily bar chart, you do have to kind of start looking at other things such as options expiration in a couple of days. Um, I would say, again, just based on what I'm seeing here, 
you know, you're going to have some some room to the upside. You're going to have options expiration. You're going to have those puts either being closed out or rolled out. And so I would say over the next couple of days, we're probably going to see more of a lift. I would just suggest that you not really look too far into it. All right. I'll see you next time.